Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Cricut DIY video for you where I make six fun Christmas projects using mostly Dollar Tree products and my Cricut vinyl. So I hope you enjoy. I know it's a kind of long video, but I do appreciate if you watch it all the way through or if not, that's okay too. All right, I hope you enjoy. Merry Christmas. All right, guys, we are gonna make a Thanksgiving sign out of some product that I picked up. One, I got this at the Dollar Tree. It's just an easel. It does have the um, butterfly, I think that's what it's called, screw at the top. Stands up, put your stuff on it. So I grabbed one of those. And at the Target Dollar Spot, I picked up this sign. It's two sided, you have black on one side, plain on the other, it was $3. It does come with some stencils, but really any, any sign will work for this. So what I did, this is so simple guys, but so rewarding and satisfying. Now, because I'm liking black right now, I painted this black and I did take the screw out, took it apart, painted it, and then I screwed it back together. And what you do is you set it where you want it and then you tighten down that screw and that's gonna hold you in place. It's not perfect, but it definitely is good. So I have my easel taken care of and you can obviously paint that any color you like. So, and this will also work for any season. So what I did is I was playing around on the back with white chalk paint like it's supposed to come off when you wash it or with water it does not i don't recommend using it if you ever want to like redo your black but i was using this side anyway and i painted the surface the purple color that i like for fall or this year and then i just hand did these black just details it's all going to be in the details for this because it's such a simple idea now, if you haven't seen my Cricut video, it is up, and there's a link in my bio below, um, but I did create this with my Cricut. This is a little more advanced than what I showed you, but it can be done. And I cut it out in like a copper metallic. So, and then I took, this is Dollar Tree Transfer, clear tra uh, transparent shelf liner. It's called Magic Cover. I use it as a transfer tape all the time. So, and you will have seen me do this. I just put the clear over it. And what you're doing is transferring your design. Turn it over. Now this metallic is a little fussy at times to work with just because it doesn't like to always stick where I want it to stick. And as a rule, Cricut doesn't stick well to wood, but I have found that if I paint the wood, the designs definitely stick. Now I keep this because you can reuse your transfer tapes multiple times. Now, yes, we could get a, a ruler out and center this, but let's be truthful, I'm not gonna do that. I tend to go at it with a U shape and if where you lay it, if you're gentle with it and don't push, you can move it. But once the vinyl has really adhered, you're kind of stuck there. I'm trying to line up my pumpkin and make sure we're straight, which I think we are. Now, see, I'm just setting it down gently and it hasn't stuck. But if I see that any of my vinyl has stuck, I will definitely... Um, not move it at that point because you'll end up messing up your piece. Um, this is permanent vinyl and you can peel it off of this wood. It doesn't have to stay on here, but the longer it's on, I believe the stronger the bond. And then I'm just taking my Cricut thing. I don't even have a big one. I just use a little one. And I'm just burnishing everything down. And then my best advice is you come at it from a corner. You don't wanna go straight up and down, especially on words that have little pieces because it will lift. But if you go slow enough, if anything lifts, you'd see like that, it just lifted. 
I just put it down, rub it with my finger, and come at it from a different angle. And this one here also lifted a little bit. Now, because this is on wood, I will go back just with my finger, and I just want to give it a really good press. And that is done. That sign is complete. I did raise it a little further on the bottom because it's going to be sitting, as you'll see here in a minute, it will be sitting on its um, pedestal. And then I just put this back here. Doesn't even matter if it's wrinkly. You just don't want it to get like dirty. And that's it. Now, here's a fun little trick. If you wanted, let's say, to paint a design on here, I could leave this here, spray paint this like black, and then come back with my tool and peel all this vinyl off, as long as you do it, you know, within a day or two, then I'm gonna have a purple design with a black background. And you use this like a reverse stencil. But I like the copper and I love the, the warm feel of the metallics. And that is my first project with my Cricut for Thanksgiving. I love it, guys, and I hope you do too. Um, stick, stick around in a minute. I will show you it up on its pedestal. And our Give Thanks sign on the black easel. Guys, I love it. The simplicity, but the sparkle from the copper just is so warm and inviting. You could always add more to it or less. That is up to you when you do your own crafting. Right, we're gonna do some Dollar Tree candles. These are just, they come like this, they're glass. Sometimes they come wrapped in like a colored cellophane. I did take that off of these two the orange did not so it just kind of depends but i took the cellophane off and then i went over it with some goo gone just to get rid of any of the um adhesive so we're going to do one for thanksgiving and two for christmas so let's do the thanksgiving one first now i went to my cricut this is called the skinny font you do have to download it from dafont.com. And what you want to know is that those fonts are free, but you're not supposed to use them if you're selling things. So you definitely want, are all of them. So you definitely want to read what the um, using agreement is when you take them. But for me, I just do it for myself. And I think there is another Ray Dunn inspired font, but I'm not exactly sure what it's called. But this is what I'm using. We're gonna say gobble. I have some faux fur down here to make it look fine. And now my transfer tape is going to stick to it. Um, so right now I'm just pulling this off, oops, off the transfer tape. Now the transfer tape that I use is from Dollar Tree. I showed you that before, and this is a reuse. Sometimes it doesn't stick that great, but you just fuss with it. Cricut sells one, and Dollar Tree, I should get out their other one. I have to find it that I bought um, that is strictly transfer tape. Maybe I'll do that on the next project. I gotta go locate it. All right, so I have cleaned these with rubbing alcohol. It just helps. Now you can obviously choose to make your word go this way or this way. I tend to go this way and you just want to center it, you know, nothing crazy here. I rub it down. You can burn. This is called burnishing it. You just want to be careful not to go too hard on this. You can end up cutting through the transfer tape. And in something like this with this shape, I think it's best to just use your hands. And I'm gonna put that right there. Now I have a candle for Thanksgiving that says gobble. These burn great, let me tell you. Then I got, it's called Just Chenille. And I just love it. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's kind of velvety and super soft. And it was at the Dollar Tree. And I think it's going to be perfect with my color scheme. I don't know. All summer I was obsessed with white. Now I'm obsessed with black. I, I don't know. So I just glue it down. 
you do not want any of the fabric up above. If you plan on burning this or giving it to somebody who plans on burning it, you do not want to get the chenille above the glass. You see what I'm saying? Because it could catch on fire. So just be careful. I'm just doing this. And then I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna slide it up, put a little dollop, dollop of glue for my, I should have done that on the back side, but it'll be fine. For the end here, that I totally missed, but it's, again, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Hope you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm just gonna take the chenille and bury it, bury that end so you don't see it. So it is very tight. You just wanna make sure, like I said, that you leave that ridge if you're gonna put, if you're gonna like this. And then it just sits and I love it. I don't know if you're getting the texture but I think that is super fun. You could also do it around the bottom if you're not comfortable around the top. So we have one. Let me go find that Dollar Tree transfer tape. All right, I don't know where I put it. We'll move on. So now I have my Christmas ones and we're gonna do these Jingle Bells. Now I did get some questions and I'll answer them here on why the transfer tape. These are individually cut out stickers. So if I just try to peel them and lay them, I won't have them aligned properly. So what this does is it makes sure that my, um, my letters don't move or anything I cut out. It doesn't move when I transfer it from here to here. So hence the transfer tape. I definitely find it easier to lay it on a flat surface and push it and just watch it. You just have to pay attention. And I will show you on my other, when I pull that up, I made a mistake. G -I -N -G. And I cut off my L when I was weeding it. So I just cut off the other L. Okay. So black is going to be jingle. And don't make the mistake of looking at your transfer tape to line it up. You want to look at your actual cutout, right? And then I'm just rubbing it down, pulling it off. And then I can go back in later and, you know, give it a good rub. Now the L's you'll see, <laughs> These are supposed to be capital L's, but I cut off one of the bottoms, and so I just took the other one off so they would match. I mean, you could recut it, but let's be truthful, guys. This is going to be out for one month, maybe a smidge longer. And I don't typically keep these candles from season to season because they are so inexpensive and they melt when I keep them in a warm place, so... I'm not worried that, oh, well, next year, I'll just make a new one. And maybe I'll have a different color scheme next year, you know? And if it doesn't stick, I just fold it and give it a good push. And then it sticks. There's not much I have found to do with the, the backing. All right, and now we have bells. It's not perfect, but remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's fun. We enjoy it, and every time we do it, we'll get better. So now I'm at the end pretty much of this transfer tape, so I'll toss that piece. And then I got Jingle Bells from the Dollar Tree. If you don't have Jingle Bells, use anything. Use the chenille. You can use the berry garland. But I'm just going to take my wire nip Cut that off a little bit. I'm gonna start on the back like I should have on the other one, but you know, again, it's not perfect. I wanna let that sit for a minute. You definitely wanna let this which on a wire. Oh, you're not even seeing what I'm doing. I'm just gluing it, but you definitely wanna let it sit because wire is gonna give you some resistance. 
and the glue will definitely want to lift. So I hold it and twirl it, especially until I've crossed over again. And then I'm just, honestly, I'm just twisting it around like this. We're gonna come to the back. And if you didn't want to glue this, you certainly don't have to glue it. It's wire, but it won't, I want mine to stay taut so it doesn't slide down. Yeah, I'm using my weeding tool. These, my tools are just for everything. And then I'm just going to hold that there and let it cool. I'll do the red candle and then I'll show you what they look like at the end. Oh guys, here we go. I love them. I think these are gonna be fantastic on my tray in my living room. And I think you guys need them too. The little jingle bells. Oh, I love it. Okay guys, next up, we are going to do jingle all the way. Again, Cricut on white. I have a variety of different sizes you could do. This is from the Dollar Tree. It's one of the metal ornaments. They also have these signs. And then I purchased this um, at Target. Yes, a couple years ago, maybe last year, and it was $3. I wanted to use this, so that's what we're doing on that. Um, I need to get piece of vinyl cut. And then I just lay it down and I give it a good, I'm, pre I'm pressuring it out and softly in but we really want to have a good adhesion and then I will probably take my hands and burnish it really good. All right, now this should come off better. And it's off. And then like I said, if you see something that maybe isn't stuck down all the way, just take your finger and fix that. So we have jingle all the way, leave it like that or not. I do have some jingle bells that all I did is I put them on some baker's twine. I have some berries that were from the Dollar Tree last year and some of this green with some glitter on it. So the first thing I wanna do Cut off a couple pieces. Because I think I want to do some at the top. Kind of over here and maybe a piece at the bottom. But we'll see. So I'm just going to cut a few off. Or I could just do the a big, you know, at the top. So, hot glue, friends. Hot glue. I'm putting a pretty big dollop down to start and I want my two longer pieces here. Ooh. Taking my silicone and it doesn't matter if it flips over. This is base one. And of course you can stick it wherever you like. So I have, oops, I have that there. Also, I like to add a fair bit of glue to it just to hold everything in place. I'll stick you here and you here. Just make sure you get it into the glue. Something like this where you have a lot of texture you're trying to glue, I don't mind over gluing. I'm not gonna see it, right? So it's fine. 
let that cool for a second. And then do I want that? Yes. And again, the more glue, the better we are. I'm going to put a lot in here for a second because I'm going to glue a couple things at once. I'm going to put that going this direction. And then I'm going to take this and just get my bell string into that glue as well. And if you get any strings, you know the deal. We pick them off after when they're dry. There we go. Now we're going to let this sit for a second. And the last thing I'm going to do, well, not the last, I am going to trim. Oops. Patience, Lori. We're going to let that dry before I try cutting again. Uh, all right, one more second. I'm gonna take these three berries. I'm gonna cut here. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. They're all coming apart, I don't mind that. Ooh, I'm out of glue. I'm going to let this sit here and dry for some time. Because then i got to come back in and clean her up. Right? But we don't care. I'm actually just going to pull these out. It's styrofoam in the middle of these. Um, I do like threes. But... I feel like a fourth one on the tippity top will give it some nice height since I have so much stuff up there. Just a little dollop right here. Now we're just going to let this dry completely and then I'll come back and trim those little strings. But it says jingle all the way. And it will hang down. And you, it, this will cover a little bit of the, the word, but that's okay. It doesn't bother me in the least littlest bit. We all know what it says. If that is a concern of yours, you can um, get your jingle bells up a little higher. But I don't mind. All right. I need to let this all dry completely so that I can come in and trim there. And then I'll show you. And we jingle all the way. Oh, I love this with the black Christmas trees and the jingle bells out front. It is perfect. All right, next up, I took this Dollar Tree frame that everybody is working with because it's such a great piece to upcycle. This is the Dollar Tree vinyl, and this is the red doesn't seem to be as thin as the glittery stuff. I'm not a fan of it with my Cricut cutter, but it does work great for backing things that I don't have to paint. So I used it for that. And then today, or this one, we're gonna do Let It Snow because I just think that's fun and appropriate for winter, Christmas. I can leave it out a little past Christmas if I want. I guess I should have done a blue background, but that's okay. Ooh, I've got glue everywhere from all these projects, guys. Now, this is a little tricky because my transfer tape wants to pick up the vinyl, both layers of vinyl. The beauty is vinyl sticks really well to other vinyl. So if you wanted to layer things, you certainly could layer, but like, that's it. Let it snow. Like how exciting is that? Everything is covered. And the good thing is, even though it's not cut hundred percent perfect, irrelevant because there's a border in here. Put it back together. Like it's that simple. And if you don't have a Cricut, do a printable. Get something out that you've printed to do, you know? 
trying to figure out why it's not laying flat. There we go. Now this one had a, oh, I thought it was a chip. It's not. So I need to decorate it. I did make a bow. I've showed this several times how I make these little bows. So um, on my other DIY channels, I'm just going to put a bow. I feel like right here is a good place for the bow. And then on the inside, I wanted something. So I think I'm going to put a little tree in here. Or do I want to put it on this? Um, I think I will put it over here. Now, Dollar Tree does sell these little trees this year. I think I got these at Target last year. But I know they have the little packages of these trees this year. Right, got my little tree in there. And then if I wanted to do a shorter one, I could. But I'm thinking, I just have this little container. And I'm thinking we need a little pine cone. Just to bring some earthiness to it. But you can do whatever your heart desires. I just love putting things in on the inside of, uh, on the inside there. Maybe I should put a couple of these down next to my tree. I don't know. What do you think? I think that looks good just by itself. Yeah, I like it just plain like that. Like how fast and easy was that? And it is perfect decor. The beads, you could take these off and um, paint them any color you like. I like them natural. And I will probably just sit this in my tiered tray if I had to guess. But I'm not 100% sure. But that was so easy, guys, and all Dollar Tree materials, including the ribbon. This is all from the Dollar Tree. I'll show you in a moment. And here's our little let it snow sign that can be hung or just sat like this, or you could put it in a tiered tray. Really, the options are endless. All right, in this project, I took the wood ornaments, I guess is what they're calling them, just the cutouts, and I painted them. So I spray painted these red. Now I'm using spray paint specifically because I'm gonna seal these, I'm using them as coasters. So I really wanted a good base layer. So I did one and two in black. So I have cheer and believe. And then I did one with peace and this is gonna be joy. I'm only gonna show you one more time because I've shown you on all the projects how I do this, uh, pulling off the vinyl. So one more time, I'm just gently and carefully releasing the Cricut from the back. On this project, you could completely use stickers, sticker letters, rub on transfers from the Dollar Tree. It really doesn't matter because we're gonna seal it. Now, I'm not quite done with the project yet. However, I could totally leave this plane. No problem at all, but I'm not. What I'm planning on using is washi tape. So I have all of this different washi tape. I've got this, which this green plaid is really gonna be in this year from what I've understood. But I have all different washi tapes. Now, I also have Mod Podge and this is in the gloss finish. You can seal it with that. I have sealed spray paint that I'm gonna use. So for my believe here, I think I'm gonna use the reindeer washi tape. And then I'm just gonna press it down really good, trim it, and then I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go with my, um, I think we'll go on the bottom here right just like that and the beauty with washi is literally it just rips it's just a paper tape so i have that there and then maybe across the top i can do um this black and oops black and green christmas tree this stuff is not real sticky i have read some comments that you can put it in the microwave to get the stick back or um, use a glue stick, but since I'm sealing this, I'm not too worried, you know, about it. 
because I'm going to use, now I feel like my bottom one here is not straight, guys, but that's okay. Take it off. I'm just put a new piece on. And I'm only doing this because of my own issues. <laughs> I don't think anybody else would notice that that is crooked. And that's it. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to take them outside. I have a high gloss and I'm going to give it multiple, multiple layers. This is on both sides because this is definitely something I would like to keep. Now we have the Joy over here. I was thinking Joy needed some red and black buffalo check. And I couldn't tell you where half of this washi came from because I've had it for a very long time, all of it. I just collect it from different places. And then how about at the bottom? I mean, I could even go like this way. I know this stuff here came from Target Dollar Spot many a Christmas ago. And a part of this too is I'm trying to utilize it and just, you know, I don't wanna waste it. Right? So we'll do that. But I do love the ease in which I can decorate. But you could put stickers on here. It does not have to be washy and cricketing. Look at this one. This is Santa. I'm trying to line it up with the top and the word, but this one's a little off. And that's okay. And then maybe we'll do in green. Uh, Twas the night before Christmas. Um, warm winter wishes. So I'm lining it up not at the top, but I'm lining it up with the bottom. So then we have peace. And cheer, I feel like we need cheer to be fun. What do you guys think? How about some red and white stripes? And depending where you put your words or your stickers will depend where you put your washi. I also want to do, ah, oh, I can't get it off. Like I said, I've had this washi and I want to say some of the stuff from Target wasn't great when it came out. All right, let us put that here. Oh, I like that a lot. And then I think what we'll do right on top of it is add some black glitter. And it's just decorating to your taste, what you like. Maybe I won't do black glitter. Where's the end? I can't find the end. I don't quite know where the end went, guys. Well, we'll figure it out. I'll find the black, the black glitter at some point. Ah, I found it. Jeez, that was rough. But I feel like I want to put it right there. And like this stuff here is not sticky at all anymore. There. And then if you want to put a little something at the top, you certainly can. But I like this. I like that they're all just a little different. Well... Okay, the bells are a little different. <laughs> uh, and I can totally come up here if I wanted to and add some of that, put a sticker, put another layer of that. I mean, there's all, all the things. Some, um, like this has some green snowflakes that match that. I could go that direction. I kind of like that. I do like the offset. Just making it something, you know, like a wrapped package or something. All right, I will go outside and I'm gonna seal these and this is, these are gonna take a while to cure, but that's okay. We have nothing but time. Christmas is several months away. And the coasters. Do you see how shiny they are? I used a spray um, sealer so that when I put my cup down, if there's any moisture, it won't ruin them. Just a clear coat of spray paint. But I love them. All right, guys, here is our last super quick and easy DIY Dollar Tree project. 
So I am reusing the Dollar Tree wooden board, but you can use any board you want. I am just happened to be using this one because I wanted the black. If not, they have Christmas ones out right now in green and then like a wintry one out in blue. So keep that in mind. All right. I have a sign, like this came on a stick. Here's the stick. It was 98 cents last year, maybe the year before from Walmart, but any thing will do, but I liked that it was Santa. I need to glue his little foot if I'm gonna use him. It's just like a typical Dollar Tree item. It's paper over wooden cutout. So if you wanted to do something different, you could rip it apart, but I don't. Now, I wanna stick him up here first right because i want him to hide the the um pumpkin so i got him up here make sure i'm not bleeding through simple as that he's done and he says merry christmas and i know he's off cue but i want it to be that way then i took my cricket and I did Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixit, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, and then Rudolph. Because it annoys me that Rudolph always gets left off these things. And I, for a long time, have wanted to um, do the reindeer list. I may have spaced them out a little bit too much. We'll see what's happening. I... I did put down the vinyl already. Here we go. Already on here. You've seen me do the transfer tape a hundred times. Let's hope this one goes easier or not. I also find that this, some of this uh, vinyl that I'm using is some older Cricut stuff. And I'm wondering if it doesn't lose some of its, I don't know. something I doubt it it's probably the transfer tape I'm using but I don't want oops, and I don't want to leave anybody behind we need all of our letters oops and my R broke all right I'm gonna fast forward this for you and do all this weaving Guys, I'm super excited. Now, we're gonna come down here and get our Rudolph in place. Hopefully he comes a little quicker. It should, just one name. But I felt like Rudolph gets left out a lot when you see these. And I don't know if it's a marketing thing or if it's like a, um, you know, they need special permission to use Rudolph. But we're going to put him right here at the bottom in red. I thought about just doing the R in red, but I feel like Rudolph needs special treatment so we have Rudolph now there's a couple things you can do here if you have the 3d kits you can glue these to the bottom take your trees paint them up do whatever I went ahead and cut out a tree line but I also cut out Santa and his sleigh so I don't know but this is gonna overhang for sure. And on this tree line, it was a little um, involved, if I had to get, says, use a word, for the cutting and weeding and how I created it. It was done on many, many layers. So this is gonna take a minute, so we'll be back. Okay. So what I would like to do 
have those pretty low because, right, we need that. And we're gonna cut. So I knew that this was gonna overhang. I just, because I didn't know how long I needed this. And you can take a straight edge and a razor and maybe I'll go back after and do that. But for right now, we're just gonna be quick about it and trim it. And then I'll come back and take the straight edge to it when I have a second. So the trees were one tree that I had and then I stuck them together in Cricut Design Space and kind of created a, um, a different picture. Now, do we or do we not want Santa and his sleigh? I feel like I do. Ooh. One more to peel off, guys. If I had to guess, this one might be my favorite, although, I don't know. There's a lot of fun going on here today. I just love Christmas crafting. And there he is. Guys, I'm really kind of obsessed with this sign. I'll have to get you a better view once I clean it up. But look at that. I'm so excited. All right, I'll show you a better view. And our tall sign. Can't forget Rudolph. This is going to look so cute. I think it's going to go on my mantle. I love it. And our little Santa, I should put a red dot on the lead reindeer. Oh, I'm going to do that. 